In this problem, we're going to calculate the electric potential energy of a system of four charges. The charges are Q, negative 2Q, 3Q, and negative 4Q at the corners of a rectangle. The formula on the formula sheet that we're using is that the potential energy of a pair of charges, 1 and 2, is equal to KQ1, Q2, over R12. For more than one pair of charges, the total potential energy is the sum over all possible pairs of charges, the product of those charges over the distance between the two charges. So to figure out how many pairs you have, you can simply draw lines between all possible sets of pairs and the number of lines is the number of pairs. And so here we can see that there are actually six lines. The length of each line you find just from the geometry of the rectangle. So let's go ahead and add up all the pairs of charges. The total potential energy will be, I can pull the K out, and we'll charge pair Q with negative 2Q. The distance between those charges is A. And I'll pair Q with 3Q. Distance between those is the root of A squared plus B squared. Then we can pair Q with negative 4Q. Distance between those is B. Moving around the rectangle, I'll now pair negative 2Q with 3Q. Distance between those is B then negative 2q with negative 4q. Distance between those is the root. And finally, pairing 3q with negative 4q. And the distance between those is a. So there are six terms with the six lines in the diagram. Gathering these terms together, Remembering that if one charge is negative, that the actual potential energy of that pair is negative. So I can also pull a Q squared out of this. And then I'm left with negative 2 over A plus 3 over the root minus 4 over B minus 6 over B plus 8 over the root minus 12 over A. And then one further simplification we we'll gather together the A term, so we have negative 2 plus negative 12 is negative 14 over A. The B terms give us negative 10 over B. And the square root terms give us 11 over the root of A squared plus B squared. And that's the final answer.